Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on Windows 11, if we head into our settings, personalization, text input. As you may well know, you have options here to customize the Copilot key on your keyboard if you have a Copilot key in the relevant hardware. And when you press that key, you've got Copilot that will launch or search or a custom app. So you've got a couple of options there. And if you don't have a Copilot key, you can use Win and See to launch Copilot. There we go. Now, I have noticed in a recent update to the Copilot app through the Microsoft Store that in regards to different options for the Copilot key or Win and See, Microsoft has added a couple of new options to the Copilot app on Windows 11. So I thought I'd just do this quick video just to make you aware um, in case this would be of interest to you. So if we head into our settings in the Copilot app, these are only available on Windows 11, not Windows 10, just as a quick side note. Yeah, you'll see if we head down to Copilot keyboard shortcuts, Previously, in this section, we only had use alt and space to launch Copilot. Now we've got single press, choose how Copilot opens or restores. You've got full window or quick view. And then you've got press and hold. Choose what happens when you hold the Copilot key for one second. You've got same as single press, which by the way is the default. And then you've got start a voice conversation. Now, I don't have a Copilot key on this keyboard, so I'm going to use Win and See. It'll work exactly the same as if you did have a Copilot key. Now, I'm just going to use single press just to demonstrate, and I'm going to choose the option Quick View. So, when I just do a single press Win and See or press in your Copilot key, it launches Quick View. So, that may be handy if this is something you are using. And then if we head back into those settings, just to demonstrate for the purpose of this video, you can do same as single press by holding the key or wooden C for one second, or you can start a voice conversation. So let's try that out. So I'm gonna hold it for one second, wooden C. And there we go. I can start a voice conversation using Copilot and there's Copilot Vision. So you get the general idea. So I thought I'll just make this quick video. That looks a bit confusing, but nonetheless, I thought I'd just make this quick video just to bring this to your attention in case this is something you would use or would be of interest or you do have a Copilot key on your keyboard or have been using Win and C just to let you know that these options now are available just putting it out there in case you would be interested so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one